Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Ragnar Heil and today I've got Matthias Lücke here from EPOS Germany and we're going to talk about speakerphones and the latest generation is called Expand ADT. That's the premium flagship speakerphone for the larger meeting rooms and in this video I'm going to walk you why you might need and consider to get these larger speakerphones because the smaller ones wouldn't fit, wouldn't fit to your purposes and we are going to walk you through each different use case and show you what is better when using a larger speakerphone compared to the standard ones. So stay tuned. Okay, Matthias, welcome. Please tell our audience here, our visitors, who you are and where you're from. Yeah, I'm from Germany, as you uh, told, uh, EPOS Germany, yes, um, but uh, we as EPOS are a global company. Um, I'm located in Germany, responsible for Germany, Austria and Switzerland as a um, field engineer. So I'm the technical guy for the sales reps and for the, for the end users and our customers, how, exp how to explain uh, how our devices works, uh, compatibility uh, with teams, team rooms, etc. So everything you need and on the audio, maybe also on other sites, upcoming video. Uh, so I explain the technical details um, and make sure that all devices run as our users uh, expected. You join EPOS from the Sennheiser acquisition. Yes. So EPOS is kind of, let's call it a carve out from Sennheiser. And the reason why, why we talk today is because, um, you know, let's, let's assume that the global pandemic would be over finally <laughs> and then and we, we will go so. back to, back to meetings back to larger meetings room maybe harder meeting room maybe larger meeting rooms maybe we are going to have a hybrid working space where we're going to have people um on site in the meeting room but also have people joining by a video conference system uh, let's talk about this situation here because if you want to bring many people in the same room into one single microsoft teams conference usually People are just opening the laptops and, and everybody joins with their own laptop. And then there is also a risk that they are using their, their, their own internal microphones, own internal loudspeakers, or they put on the headsets. And then the, and then the meeting looks a little bit strange. You know, I love headsets. I'm a headset geek, obviously. But in a, in a room when everybody uh, uses headsets, that's not the right thing. You could also use a lavalier microphone, which looks a little bit better than headphone. The headphone, but to be honest, that's not perfect. And what yeah. many people have done done in the past is using a smaller kind of device, you know, like the SB30T. Also, this is I think not also the Sennheiser, but now rebranded with Epos. Yeah. So a lot of companies have this and also bundle it and stereo, you know, doing a stereo pairing. But tell me, tell our tell our audience why should customers go for the larger device, the Expand ADT, and not just pair uh, the smaller ones. What's the benefit here? Yeah, the benefit is, uh, first of all, uh, you have a device with a, with a uh, yeah, if, if you need a little bit more uh, speaker, if you have a bigger room, then you have uh, a bigger uh, resonance uh, for, for your um, speaker. Uh, this is the first point, and the second point is, um, if you are really close together with uh, with your uh, audience and it's in, in your uh, communication, um, then you have you need more microphones and all the microphones are in one device. So we have software who can um, make the the uh, the DSPs and can connect the the speaker, see the speaker and provide the the audio uh, from the speaker, not from the the noise from the room. If you connect in these by the way, digital signal processing, am I right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Absolutely mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I I need to switch to the EPOS because our our viewers want to hear how the EPOS ATT sounds. And the great thing is I just literally take off my SDW. Okay. Yeah. So now you are listening to the EPOS Expand ADT. So I'm no longer wearing here the the headphone. And um, what we can do here is also having a quality test um, when my when my son is talking. So my son is currently on the same table, but two meters away. So let's make a short quality test how it sounds when he talks to us. So please say hello to audience. Hello, everybody. I'm now like uh, two and a half meters away and uh, talking right to 
to the extension uh, of the EPOS. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds sounds great. So sorry, I'm a little bit branded, but yes, it's it's really cool. <laughs> um, but it's a li it's a little bit crazy. Sorry, I miss a little bit the video signal. So this is a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a bit of, um, bit of latency and delay here. Yeah. But this is, I think, this is a normal thing that uh, you have on one side using headsets or headphones, and on the other side there is a speakerphone in the in the, in a small or a bigger medium uh, medium size um, conference room. Um, so this is also what we see that uh, also after the pandemic, this is a yeah a use case. We have a conference room with the people who are located in the office in the the company and a lot of people who work in the home office and then it connected via um via uh, teams uh, or other devices uh, with, uh, with video and audio connected direct to the company so um this is i think uh, a really really uh, upcoming user case because um yeah the new normal right yeah absolutely that's what i think that's the new normal and we have to be prepared because it can be very soon that that in a, in a few weeks when the vaccine is going to improve and increase that more and more people are going back to the office but a lot of people will stay in their, their um, home offices so that's very important um yes. let's talk a little bit about what's inside here of the expand adt so there are set six microphones and yes. um there is a it's a it's a beam forming array could you please tell us what does it mean uh, what does beam, beam forming mean? Yeah, uh, the beam forming microphones means that uh, all microphones pick up the uh, the uh, noise and also the voice from the room. And uh, over the uh, the processing inside the box, we uh, located who is speaking in the room. So uh, voice voice is a little bit louder. Uh, so uh, and then they're focused on the speaker, and this is very important because you have a lot of people in the meeting room. With for uh, for example coffee cups and uh, um, and uh, some do something and write maybe or use uh, a keyboard for the, um, for the protocol, yeah. And uh, so it's very important that the mm -hmm. the uh, the speaker is uh, highlighted and this uh, is detected by the microphones because if you have different microphones, this is a special array. So uh, we detected how quick or how uh, the the microphones is hit by the voice. And then we focused on the on the speaker line. So also, okay. if you if you if you go around on the table, then the microphones follow you. Okay. So number one use case: the microphone is following me. Then second, uh, background noises which shouldn't be there, you know, like typing and so on, is going to be removed or reused. reused number yes. number three is there is this 360 thing. You know, I can I, I can walk around the table and it will just follow me. So I can I can be more flexible in the room, especially when I have workshops and I want to run around and and work on my whiteboard that would follow me, which is very, very nice. And yeah. then the, the the other use case would be here really to include people who are usually not not heard well because they are like two or three meters, four meters away. And this uh, device, Expand ADT, would cover 16, up to 16 people in the same room. Yeah. And also we have the possibility to have uh, external mics, so we can expand it a little bit if you have a long table or so then you can, uh, can then you have a, a bigger range um, through it. Then you can add an additional microphones, and then you have more, uh, four more microphones in one of these um, on these plugs, and then you have uh, seven plus four microphones mm. for one, and then you can add two in in summary. Then you have seven plus four plus four. <laughs> yeah. And what I'm also seeing here is, you know, I've got the volume button uh, plus minus yeah. to, to increase and decrease, decrease. And the most important button is obviously always the mute button. Uh, I need it every single day. Then you can accept calls, you can decline calls, you can stop calls. There is the, the pairing for Bluetooth and there is a Microsoft Teams button. Yeah. And with the, with the Teams button, you can also accept and, and, uh, and stop calls. You can activate Cortana, which is not so important at the moment, but it's going to be more important in the future. Because Absolutely. then when it's arriving in Germany, then you can do great things like, hey, Cortana, please add um, Matthias to my meeting. And please say, please tell Matthias that I'm five minutes late. And, yeah. and please, Cortana, or hey, Cortana, when is my next meeting? So very useful uh, things, especially designed for teams. Yeah, this is very important. So this is uh, uh, really a de dedicated Teams button on, the, on this device. So it's fully Teams certified certificated so they had a certification for uh, for teams 
um, and also um, it, it's also possible to use it with other clients. Sorry for that, but yeah, you can use it with with all kinds of, of uh, communication tools. But teams have the big benefit um, with the with the Teams button because, as you mentioned, you have a lot of upcoming features and uh, very great features. How to use your Teams um, device in in a, in a complex um, yeah working day? So it's very easy to push a button to. An, uh, arrange meetings, uh, jump into meetings, and so on. Okay, and now let's talk a little bit about the USPs of this device. You told me that double talk is one of the most important things, which is also doing a difference to the friends on the market. So let's, uh, first, please tell us a little bit more about double talk before we jump into a demo and try it out, how it works. Yeah, double talk means uh, that you have for normally uh, a communication, and then you jump into uh, uh, the uh, into the communication. So the the guys in in a meeting room are still aware of this. But if are uh, on on the other side, and uh, you have a presentation, and I have a question, for example, and jump into and have a can I still ask something? Uh, then it's also mostly the problem on uh, smaller devices that they switch off a uh, speaker or the microphone. So they have no uh, echo um, and hall on this, on this device because the speaker speaks directly in the microphones of this device. So then you have a, a loop and the audio loop brings an echo in this system. Um, so so should, we, should we try it now? Um, my recommendation would be let's, let's count to 10 or to 15. My son is also here. He's also going to, to count. So let's just count here. And, and we do a double talk thing. Yeah. Okay. So one, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, seven, eight, nine eight, ten, eight, eleven, eight, twelve, eight, twelve eight, thirteen, eight, fourteen, eight, fifteen. Eight, <laughs> so let's see later how it, how it sounds. But that's actually double talk because usually the the other non double talk um, uh, technologies would always. You know the the Microsoft the Microsoft the microphone would always <laughs> close when I'm when I'm listening yeah. to the other one speaking. So that's yeah. the usual way of of, of this, doing this, it. This is this is the most easiest way to to uh, cancel echo in the system because um, if if you have a smaller devices first of all, then the microphone and the speaker is very close together, like your mobile phone. Um, this is very very complex. Um, um, Technology, but uh, a kind of DSP, so uh, because of the system knows what is my speak or what is the other speak. But if you if you have an uh, if you have a complex system like a speakerphone, then it's not so easy like to use it with one speaker in one mobile phone situation, or you have a big room with ten or fifteen people inside, and then it's not easy to uh, mention who is speaking. Uh, and this is a, maybe the the other guy on the other line. And um, so it's 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 the easiest way to say we cancel or we make a kind of mute. It's, I think this is what what uh, what's very what it explained a little, a little bit uh, more detailed. Then we have a mute on the microphone side, or also uh, a mute on the speaker side. If I'm talking, so then you then you miss all kinds of of echo in the system. It's very easy to eliminate. But the challenge is if I jump into the uh, conversation and say, hey, what's uh, with point A, B, C, whatever. Um, and you're still talking, then my my voice will um, will miss the first two or uh, three words. So then it's a little bit more complex. Uh, then you must uh, start to ask, what, what did you say? What what what's your uh, your point here? And this is brings brings a little bit um, trouble in the in the conversation, right? And then you, yes. you have a misunderstanding. And uh, end of the day, we need a little bit more time, and time is very expensive. Yeah, and it's confusing because to, to open this microphone, you always need some kind of fill words, you know, like so or okay, and then you start the real sentence. And using this device here, you don't you don't need to to fill this first two seconds to open the microphone. Uh, once again, the microphone. <laughs> it's 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 a brain. It's so yeah, it's connected it, in my inner brain. These two words. Yeah, may, maybe Monday morning. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, Matthias, yeah. before we close, I would like to to talk a little about a new device which is arriving in early summer this year. The Expand Capture Five. It's already on my on my table here. It's not working. <laughs> it's not working uh, yet because Microsoft needs to uh, send here the uh, software. 
But this device is designed for capturing voices in a room and transcribing them. And all the names of people in the room or in the call, all the names are going to be assigned and added to the um, transcription. So that is very interesting device. Yeah. So I can definitely see that AI and description is one of the most focused points in your company. Yeah, I, I think it's it's a it's a great device. It's uh, for Microsoft Team Rooms, so it's it's a special uh, device. You can uh, use it for for your uh, room experience, and I think this is what what the most yeah from from my my personal point of view also the most uh, crazy point if you need an uh, uh, if you need an uh, any kind of description uh, any kind of uh, handout or protocol or something like that and then you start to make your notices or you you use your keyboards or i think teams have also some small features on this side so you can use the transcription on this but this is as the next level of transcription because we also uh, I, we also can um, see who is speaking. So if you have a transcription, you can see Matthias says mm. and Ragnar says, and then you can have a, a full protocol and also you're able to say stop or not listen and something like, and this is uh, recognized by the voice. And this is very, very important for, for Microsoft uh, profile. And then you have a special, um, your special point that you can mention by your voice and to you really recognized by the system by team rooms and the capture five and see okay matthias is speaking and then i can block all the uh, all the points he mentioned in the meeting and then i have a very nice protocol at the end of the day and this is very easy because it's not necessary to use a paper and a pen <laughs> and that is at the end saving a lot of time because we are on, yeah. we are so old that we know all the days you know when a secretary and personal assistant needed to write a protocol and was sending it a few days later now all this stuff is handled by other yeah. by artificial intelligence and these kinds of, of speaker phones if something super secret which should not be part of the protocol is told then you can easily click here on the on the mute button and then it won't be transcribed but they should be a, a huge time saver because nobody yeah. needs to, to do it manually absolutely and also it's it's a very cool device because it's also very complex so we we also need the, the microsoft team room software in this part mm -hmm. because it's it fits absolutely together this is one of the first devices uh we make in uh, cooperation with microsoft so it's a really um yeah it also can be a, a Microsoft branded tool because it's it's so close together that the software is so close together it fits uh, absolute seamless together. That is one uh, one use case for for uh, all users. And yeah, and what I love, and what I love most about this device and the whole story is that it's all about inclusion. Inclusion is the biggest topic here because sometimes you know people cannot join the meeting because they have to take care about their children. They are they are busy in other meetings. They have a they have vacation or they are just sick. And if meetings are going to be transcribed in the future, people can just read what was happening there. Yeah, and so, so the times are over when you have missed an, an important meeting because you usually have have now the recording, the transcription, and if people are, cannot um, cannot hear the recording. Uh, be, be because of some handicaps, you know, then they can just read it. So it's all about inclusion here. And that's a wonderful story. Super, Matthias. Thanks so much for being here in my video. Very, very appreciated. Thanks a and lot. Look forward to see you in the future. I hope so. Real life. Uh, in the real, yeah. <laughs> in the real life, yes. Yeah. yeah. Cross the Thanks fingers. So much. <laughs> Thank you.